so today we have mathematics and we were doing division okay now this one today's lesson is division with regrouping okay this one we had not done so three sums i've written in the blackboard okay now i'll do it you just see how the what uh, what is the method okay what are the steps so here 80 is divided by 5 80 is dividend 5 is divisor you know that so 80 is divided by 5 first what i had taught you last time first you have to divide if it is two digit number you have to divide the number at the tens place okay so start it and how you will divide how you will divide when you say five stable the answer should be eight or it should be closer nearer to eight okay so start saying five stable five ones are five five twos are ten ten is bigger than eight so you can't write ten out here so five ones are five okay then you have to subtract I, why we are subtracting why we are not adding because addition is related with multiplication because the answer will be always big isn't it and division is related with subtraction because the answer because you distribute isn't it you distribute sweets the distribute money so answer sh will answers will be smaller in subtraction also answer will be smaller isn't it that's why we subtract out here so 8 minus 5 is 3 okay then zeros turn zero will come here and it will make a group 3 and 0 you cannot divide remember that without bringing the number up from dividend from here without bringing it down you cannot divide remainder okay you have to bring number from up then on after regrouping this is called regrouping i'm making group okay so after that you can divide both now your dividend became 30 okay so 30 divided by 5 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 5 threes are 15 5 fours are 20 yes 5 fives are 25 5 six are 30 okay so just above this number at once place here you have to write the answer 5 six are 30 okay so quotient quotient will be what 16 and remainder will be there is nothing okay number is not left so it will be zero this cross means nothing so it mean, will be zero so don't put zero out here okay uh, uh, always do like this cross sign now this one is finished like this only second one 73 divided by 4 same method you have to apply okay so divide 7 by 4 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 8 is bigger than 7 so can you divide you cannot why because you cannot subtract okay uh, last time i had given you homework that time one student had uh, sent it to me in my personal account but in spite of being told so many times please if this cannot be divided put zero first and divide then only bring the another number he wrote answer here only don't do that even if you wrote here please put zero because you have to you have to fill up the gap because the answer slowly slowly in other sums when you practice mathematics that time slowly the answer will come this side because of your carelessness okay then it will become wrong so yeah this can be uh, understood now please that homework which i gave last time if you have done that way please do it again you see the video again last time's video and try to do try to follow whatever steps i have taught you 
okay here also 7 cannot be divided yes it can be divided because 7 is bigger than 4 but 4 to the 8 you cannot write it is bigger than 7 so 4 ones are 4 just above this 4 ones are 4 then subtract answer will be 3 then another one is waiting you bring it down regroup so for how much are 33 for how much are keep on same table fours okay so 4 5 is a 20 4 6 is a 24 4 7 is a 28 4 is a 32 4 9 is a 36 now 36 how can you write isn't it 36 is bigger than 33 so you can 4 9 is a 36 it's not 4 9 is a 36 but it is 4 8 is a 32 you can say it or you can write it here also for stable okay for uh, for how much I said four seven ja. you write four seven ja, 28 uh, four eight four eight ja, 32 then four nine ja, 36 you can see the difference 36 is bigger than 33 so this is cancelled this will be the answer okay 4 8 are 32 now 3 minus 2 is 1 3 minus 3 is 0 you can write 0 or if you because the num uh, 0 if it is before the number it does not have any meaning okay 0 1 means 1 only but if 0 comes after after this number then it, it has a meaning 10 means 10 rupees 10 pencils like that but if it is 0 1 it will be just one pencil one sweet like that okay so remember that the difference between 0 1 or 10 okay this 0 if I said 3 minus 3 is 0 3 minus 3 is 0 if I said not to write it you will do the same thing here also okay that's why I am writing it for you because you are in class 3 okay so I wrote it here now uh, quotient 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 is 18 and remainder remainder is 1 okay 0 man, 1 means 1 only now the last question here 85 is divided by 6 same like this only keep on dividing 8 6 how much are? it should be closer to 8 or equal to 8 so 6 1 is 6 6 2 is 12 so you cannot write 2 here 6 it will be 6 1 is 6 so 8 minus 6 is 2 then 5 comes down it became 25 now it make, made a group now you can divide 6 how much are? yes keep on saying 6 is stable okay so 6 2 is a 12 6 3 is a 18 6 4 is a 24 6 5 is a 30 30 is bigger than 25 so it will be 6 4 is a 24 okay 5 minus 1 uh, 4 is 1 now quotient will be quotient will be 14 and remainder remainder will be one so it is like this i was planning to do word problems word sums but then i thought you have you need practice okay so uh, this time i'm not starting word sum maybe next time so please keep on practicing divisions and the method I have shown it please see the video watch the video again and again and try to do how I have told you the steps okay please follow the steps okay and it is last time also I told you please whatever number I will give as ho homework please don't stick to that number only give yourself self, your own question make your own question and divide okay or ask your parents to give you some questions or your neighbors or your uncle aunt your sister brother okay anyone and 
practice or you can see from other books also but keep on practicing okay so this much for today thank you